Developing tonight an explosive inferno in Opelika, where dozens of big rigs and cars erupted in flames as firefighters tried to do battle. When the smoke cleared, the charred aftermath looking more like a vehicle graveyard littered with scorched metal framework. Nearly two dozen fire units were called out to that scene. And now tonight, as the cleanup begins, questions arise about what sparked this massive fire. Local 10's Carlos Suarez live now on the scene for us tonight with the story. Carlos. Fire investigators are still at this late hour here at the scene. We're told that propane and diesel fueled this raging inferno and it tore through row after row of semis that were parked up alongside this fence as well as several cars and it burned dangerously close to, uh, to several businesses. Each explosion fueled the fire. Thick black smoke billowed from a row of semis that burned for more than an hour on Monday. An inferno impressive enough you could see it for miles. Nightfall allowed for a closer look at the damage. Beyond a charred fence sits what is left of 30 tractor trailers that were reduced to junk. Cell phone video captured the sound of each blast and showed just how close the fire came to spreading to neighboring businesses. It uh, sounded like maybe gas tanks or something, and uh, you know, it started catching fire pretty quick. They have a lot of trucks back there, uh, they keep blowing up, you can hear them. The fire tore through an area that is part of the American Fruit and Produce Warehouse off Northwest 42nd Avenue and 128th Street in Opalaka. A wave of workers were seen running out of the business. What were the people that were running out? Were they saying anything? Well, they were afraid. They see a lot of explosion. They were running around for COVID. A team of firefighters eventually got the fire under control, but not before two runways at nearby Miami Opalaka Executive Airport and part of the Gratney was closed due to the smoke. Is the fire contained uh, to these semis that we see in the video? Correct. Only the vehicles never made it. Uh, fire rescue did a great job. Never made it to the building. All right, Miami-Dade Fire Rescue ended up using a foam truck from its aviation unit that is based at Opelika Executive Airport. You are looking live at two of the workers that are still out here taking a look at all of this damage. We're told they're still trying to figure out exactly where this fire may have started. The cause of it is still under investigation. We are live tonight in the city of Opelika. I'm Carlos Suarez, Local 10 News.